If you don't pray because you are busy, if you don't pray because you are tired, just know that there are dangers that will come with it. Anytime you pray, you raise a mantle. Anytime you pray, you increase everything. Protection, riches, anything you desire, you start coming. Anytime you forget to pray, always have it in mind that the evil ones multiply. And it will not be funny this time around. They will rise up and they may surely defeat you. So just continue watching this video. I will tell you so many things like some dangers that you may be experiencing without knowing the cause. You yeah, are welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, my name is Pamela. You yeah, are welcome. Thank you so much. I share spiritual tips like messages on this channel. If you love it, go on and subscribe. Also turn on the bell, share this video so that whenever I upload a video, you get notified and come and watch. May God bless you and answer your heart desires. You have a mission for coming into this channel. You have a mission for clicking into this video. So do share this video because it will help lots of people. If you don't pray because you are tired, if you don't pray because you are too busy, you will surely lose the confidence in your calling. Maybe you are a choosing. A choosing is someone that God has called for different purposes. It can be that God has called you to see visions, to see things that are yet to come, or to be a solution to people in different ways, to be a healer, to be a solution in different areas, or to just, there are so many types of calling. There are so many. So if you forget to pray or you stop praying, you will surely lose that confidence in your calling. You will not know anything about yourself. You will be confused. You will not know that you have that power to defeat your enemies. That is when fear comes in. You start searching for solution where you are not supposed to get solution from. You will start losing your calling because you don't know that you have higher power than that evil author that are going to search for solution. So anytime you slow down in praying, you stop praying or you are tired, you start skipping prayers. Just know that you are losing it gradually. Then the second one is, if you do not pray, or if you stop praying, or you are tired of praying, you will be separated from holiness. God's holiness. You will gradually be separating, separating, until you lose it all. Life without prayer has words, but no power. No power in it. It will just be like a sound. You will just be talking, talking, but there is no power in that prayer. You see fear coming in. That is when you start being afraid. You will have a dream. You will be afraid. You, anything, like somebody will threaten you, you will be afraid. Because you are losing it all. Your prayer life is going down. You are no longer strong. Anybody that talks to you, you will be afraid. Anything you see, you will be afraid. The third one, you surely become separated from God Almighty. You know that close relationship, that lovely relationship between you and God, it will gradually be separating, separating. Because that prayer is what brings both of you together. That force is what brings closeness between you and God. It's just a medium for communicating with God and you are losing it all. When you don't pray, you are losing it all. And you know what will come? That God's protection will not be there anymore. Angels will no longer protect you. Godly distance is there because there's a huge distance, there's a huge demarcation between you and God. When you don't pray or when you stop praying, your spirit moves out from you. You know, we have the body, spirit, and soul. When the spirit moves out of one, you be confused. Everything about your life will be like messed up. If you pray, it will be as if your prayer is not, nothing is working. If you are working, you see your money scattered. You cannot be able to gather your income. Your spirit is not there to work with your body to succeed in life. And you know what that means? Evil ones can just do any small thing and they will just succeed. Your spirit will start wandering around looking for where to dwell in. When your spirit is not with you, the person is just like half dead. You cannot perform things like reasonable things. Everything will be flesh. Everything will just be mere body. And so doing, fear will come in. When fear comes in, so many afflictions will be coming. Because the evil ones, or the Satan, wants you to be afraid. They inject that spirit of fear in one. 
first before they start hunting one. When they see that you are afraid, that is when they will now start manifesting their evil things. So the first one, if you don't pray, you depend fully on things and people. You see, when you depend on people, when you depend on things that you see, you will lose it all. You will not depend on God. Things about God will not be enticing you. Things about God will not even sound as a great solution. You want to depend on people that can fail you. You want to depend on things, harboring shams, harboring spells. So I want to inform you, Pamela Pamas TV, I do not do spiritual work. I don't sell spiritual items or I don't even do shams. If you see some people impersonating this channel by opening some accounts, Facebook and YouTube and other platform, using the name Pamas TV to scam people, selling some shams. Just beware, I'm not the one. So when you lose it all, when your spirit is not with you, you will depend fully on things you see. You will be looking for an object to use for, to help yourself. You will be looking for people to help you when you have lost it. Forgetting that you used to be very, very powerful. Forgetting that things were really working very well for you when you were connected with God. You will only be connected with God with prayers. So the fifth one, you will always make terrible mistakes. Yes, so much mistakes. Nothing will be working. You try this, nothing will be working. You try this, nothing will be working. When your partner is the one misbehaving, doing things that does not please God, you have to pray seriously for, for him or her. As long as both of you are still in that marriage. If not, anytime both of you meet, automatically you will inherit it. Things will not work for you. Things can never work. Always pray for one another. Because even if you, you are doing things that please God, because of the other person that you have that sexual activity with, there's power in that connection. In spirit world, is 99%. Like that connection, that sexual activity. That is why it's very important to do it with somebody that you are married to. Instead of you to inherit causes from that person. So I'm just diverting somehow. This is not really the topic, but it's somehow part of it. It's not about your relationship alone with God. That is your partner's life. Always pray for your partner for Christ to always do things that God loves. So that anytime both of you meet, you will not inherit. So you always make terrible mistakes. Anytime you slow down in prayer, anytime you stop praying, you will build yourself endlessly. You will raise yourself alone endlessly. Some people will get tired and lose it all. They may commit suicide. When the Spirit of God is not in you, is not working with you, you will never be able to do things. You cannot do it alone. You always need the power of God. So it doesn't take time. Just any time, even if you are tired, pray. Just a short time. You can even pray five minutes. You can even pray less than five minutes. You are going out, say some prayers. You want to sleep, say some prayers. No matter how tired you are, just know that God is always watching you. So the last one, which is the sixth one, is you will lose the spirit of God anytime you stop praying. Even your own spirit will run away. Like, we just run away from your flesh. If you start dwelling in flesh alone, then affliction will rise up. So prayer life is a mandatory, no matter the tribe you are. This channel is not only for Christians, by the grace of God, God will lift you up, turn things around for you. Make sure you always pray. Do not get tired. May God bless you. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe. Share this video to everyone. Remain blessed as always. I'll see you in my next video.